Well, if you were looking forward to hearing uh, 6 ix 9s Dummy Boy, that got pushed back now. It has been canceled and moved to a later date. They don't even know, but uh, it will not be released on Friday. And uh, it's been postponed till further notice. I think that's a big mistake by the label because this guy has a lot of attention on him this week. He's high in the algorithm and everything. And if he were to release the album this week, it would do dummy boy numbers. Uh, and that's what matters to a label and matters to 6 9 and his family, right? Like it would make more sense for them to release the album this Friday. And they have a video already to go with it. He only releases a video or two per album. Why not just put the whole thing out? You don't get the, the sales from it. Also, 6 ix lawyer reportedly uh, by, I saw Academics post this up, and he's the one closest to 6 9 out of anybody. Uh, he said the lawyer has canceled the bail hearing for this morning. He will sit in jail for another week, and he will be back in court and officially arraigned with co-defendants on Monday. Uh, there's also reports coming out from TMZ that there is no protection for his family and that they could be in jeopardy. They could be just making that up what we don't know. Um, really sad, man. You know, it's really sad. You know, you got to be really careful who you associate with. 50 Cent talked about this in the past. Fat Joe warned Takashi about this. Uh, he said, hey, man, you know. It's that they're gonna want to get you, and especially it's on social media and everything. They're not gonna like you rubbing it in their face. You gotta chill out. He told them this like earlier this year, in the beginning of the year, and you know he should have, unfortunately, taken his advice. You know, I mean, it, it seemed to be working, but you know, like it was working. But all the money you're making from that means you're getting caught up in more stuff and you're gonna have to spend all that money to defend yourself you know and that's the unfortunate part about this uh hopefully uh they do let him out next week i think they will there's a lot of like when we read the indictment it's not like clear cut like when you read the rollo's indictment it's pretty much clear cut he was on the plane this the people from the plane uh talked about him being on the plane and the stuff on the plane you know it was all connected pretty clearly, okay? AR Ab's a little little foggy too, okay? The, you know, like, I, th I, it's just like, they can't have, the well, the court and the feds or and everything, they don't want this to be uh, something cool, you know? It, it's almost like rubbing in their face. They have, a lot of them have these complexes where they have to control everything. I mean, have you ever been pulled over by a cop? It's not worth arguing with him because he's always going to win. You know, it's like you're kind of at the mercy of the court and the feds at that point, you know. Uh, and again, 6 9 refused to roll over. He would have been home now. So and his family would have had protection. So that is commendable. You got to You got to admit that, you know, you got to at least give the kid that man. And you know, you know, a lot of people don't believe he's a good kid, but he seems like a good kid that was infatuated with like gang stuff and everything and felt protected and felt a different kind of power when he had that protection and it kind of went to his went to his head and it seemed like he was just getting out of it the past two weeks because he realized that a case was being was being built against him when the feds raided his house and took the gun and uh he didn't want to do he didn't he didn't want to be a part of it anymore it got too real uh, anyways, guys, this is George Tower JT News. Hit that thumbs up button, and I'll check you guys in the next one.